Hi. Happy Monday, everyone. Today we're going to be talking about what it takes to be a pro actor or pro actress. So I may be a little bit unconventional about the topic. I usually am unconventional. And so I guess I'm just going to do my thing and be unconventional about what it takes to be a pro actor. Um, what it takes to be a pro actor is to be daring to be a pro human. So it means that you are ready to be with everything that makes you human. So it means that you are willing, ready, and going to not bypass your humanity. And so what do I mean by that is that um, you experience feelings as a human being, your own feelings of fear, terror, anger, sadness, jealousy, competition, whatever it is, whatever you're feeling that's uncomfortable, you're going to need to get in touch with that and be able to feel it. You're going to need to be willing to explore what's uncomfortable about being human as you. Because, of course, the responsibility of, as a, of an actor is to portray humanity, to remind the audience what it's like to be human. So the only thing to do for you to be a pro-actor is to be willing to be a pro-human. And most of us are not pro-humans because we've been raised to repress everything that we feel. We've been raised to repress our emotions, the way we think, the way we behave, everything about us since childhood. We've been asked not to get angry, not to get sad in front of people, not to be afraid. We've been asked to sit down, be quiet and listen to what we're told. So basically you have to reclaim your capacity to be an ultimate pro at being you, an ultimate pro at being human like only you can. And that will be your contribution as an actor. So the job of an actor is to serve the character. As long as you're going to serve your ego because of your conditioning, you're not doing your job at 100%. Right? So <clears throat> what does it take to be a pro actor? It takes for you to no longer bypass your humanity and to therefore be willing to step into being a pro human. That means feeling everything. Feelings, all of the things that feel shitty, uncomfortable, sticky, stinky, shameful, and feel it all the way and love it to a point that you can then show up in front of an audience and on a set, in a tape, and just be comfortably feeling all of your yuckiness in service to your character. So um, what else did I want to tell you guys? Um... I took some notes that I can't read, of course. Yeah, that when you're able to um, serve the character and not your ego at 100... Uh, I'm going to start that one again. When you're able to serve your character and not your ego, so when you're able to be there for the character at 100%, then everyone will want to work with you because you'll be able to not put your own ego's needs first. So you'll be seen, you'll be there with all of your life force for the character. That's when people will want to connect with you. They'll see you, they'll feel you, they'll want to work with you because you're actually bringing all of your humanity. And the most important person who'll want to work with you is yourself. Because we also know many actors are working all of the time and they're not fulfilled because they're not bringing their whole self. And so that's a loop that you don't want to get stuck into either. You can be a pro from the outside, but feel so broken inside when you're acting, feel so much suffering, so much pain, so much shame about not really truly being you, that it's not worth it either. So that's my unconventional approach to say that you first have to be a pro-human and then everything else will fall into place. The team will want to work with you, the casting directors. You'll show up in your headshots. You'll show up for your reel. Like everything that you 
will do, everything that you will move into, everything that you will show up for will be a full version of who you are as a human being and therefore the pro will be the natural consequence. I hope this makes sense and this sheds a little bit of light. Um, during this darker time where the industry is on pause, if you're in America with the strike, so I hope that you um, take this time to deepen your practices so that when things open up again, um, that you are open enough to jump in there and serve your characters. All right. Thank you. Bye.